Hey guys, long time no see, and what if Izuku Midoriya and Tanjiro Kamado were brothers in My Hero Academia Part 3? Sorry I haven't posted a Part 3 in a long time, I had to get through the other stuff, that's all. Let's start with Season 3, kicking right where we left off. Begin with the pool episode, where our four main characters are all swimming. Aizawa does not show up until a bit later, so Todoroki comes first, Deku second, Tanjiro third, and Bakugo last. Bakugo immediately starts raging out on Tanjiro. Tanjiro defends himself, saying that he just has really, really good breathing. The class go to camp and meets Kota Izumi. Deku and Tanjiro try to befriend him, but he punches both of their joints like that. Tanjiro tries to befriend Kota, much like the boy that he befriended in Season 3 that was similar to Kota. Since Yurichiro does exist in this continuity, Tanjiro uses a mannequin version of him to train, and he's doing a great job while he does in Season 3. After the camp is eventually attacked, they're not just here for Bakugo and Tokoyami, they also want Tanjiro as well, so Shigaraki can use him as bait to to lure in Deku. Izuku and Tanjiro both fight Kota's parents' killer, and Tanjiro is struggling to cut the muscles off or slice them in half, but Deku helps him by transferring some of the electrical energy that he has temporarily to make Tanjiro a little bit stronger and able to beat him, while the both of them though. Since Tanjiro has the less body damage, he decides to keep Kota safe. Sadly, Bakugo gets taken and Tanjiro blames himself a little bit, but Deku comforts him. While Bakugo is talking shit to the League of Villains, Deku and the gang get dressed up, and Tanjiro dresses up as a female in a kimono, like he does in Entertainment District Arc. This is so to put less suspicion. They end up saving Bakugo, but All Might ends up fighting All for One, and ends up losing the fibers of One for All. All for One is also taken into custody. Inko is a little bit more reluctant to have Deku and Tanjiro live in school. He reinforces that he does a good job of taking care of his little brother, and that Tanjiro has gotten even stronger to protect himself. Tanjiro chooses to be in the same room as Deku at this point, where they both have a bunk bed, and he's very supportive of Deku's collection of All Might merch. Now we cut to the entrance exams. Deku and Tanjiro meet Shindo. Tanjiro wonders whether he's met Shindo before. This is a reference to Inosuke, since him and Shindo share the same voice actor and are mostly topless. The class get dressed up, and most of the events play out mostly the same. Tanjiro still gets his points as well. However, Tanjiro senses a disturbing presence from one of the classmates. But remember, Tanjiro is with Deku trying to save Kota. He probably didn't get a proper glimpse of Toga's scent. Later on, Bakugo invites Tanjiro and Izuku back to this place. Go confirms that he knows that Izuku has one for all. Tanjiro immediately starts denying all of this, but Izuku reassures him that it's okay for Bakugo to know. Most of the things will play out the same. But Kugo calls out that Tanjiro's sword is not special gear that he uses to control his quirk. That Tanjiro is quirkless. Zuku tries to support his little brother, but Bakugo holds him by the face. Or immediately attacks Bakugo and headbutts him. Both Izuku and Tanjiro were able to beat Bakugo. All Might tells him to keep this all a secret. Tanjiro gets one day of detention while Izuku gets two and Bakugo gets three. The students meet the big three. They're familiar to Tanjiro because they remind him of the harsh Mirio resembles Rengoku, while Tamaki resembles Obanai. Hey guys, that was part 3 of What If Izuku and Tanjiro Were Brothers. I plan to do part 4 sometime later, and I also plan to do What If Light was in My Hero Academia part 4 as well. I've also got new projects that I want to make akin to something like Studio Archie. I want to make a full-on animated season slash animated movie adaptation of Ben 10 Race Against Time. I plan to give Alien Force its proper first movies. They're going to be animated. I don't count live action. But as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, like, and comment, and check out my Twitter.